research? Are you having trouble telling if a source is peer-reviewed or accessing the full text? Library databases are a great tool to search for reliable information, including full text, peer-reviewed sources, to use in your research. At Jenks, we have over 100 different databases that you can search. This video will show you how to select the appropriate database to search and enter keywords to find relevant peer-reviewed articles. To begin searching for peer-reviewed articles in a library database, go to the library homepage at gordon.edu library or search for Jenks Library. In the Search the Library section, select the Databases tab to open a list of all of our databases. Databases can either be subject-specific or multidisciplinary. Select a database based on the topic area of your research question. You can filter this database list by subject area using this menu here to see the best bets for research. It's important to search in multiple databases to find a wide range of potential sources. For today, we're just going to be looking at one database, Academic Search Ultimate, which is the second link in our list. Academic Search Ultimate is a great database to begin with because it is our largest multidisciplinary database. Academic Search Ultimate is a database available through EBSCO, so you'll notice that a lot of our databases look very similar to this one, like Soch Index or Business Source Premier. On the search page is the search box. When searching in a database, use two to three keywords rather than your entire research question. For example, if you're researching the impact of sports stadiums on the local community, you would search for stadiums and local community. The AND Boolean operator tells the database to find articles with both keywords. EBSCO databases also show three filters. Full text is already selected. That means that you are only searching for articles that you can access the full text immediately. I'm also going to select peer-reviewed, which means that only peer-reviewed results will be displayed. You could leave this filter unselected if you wanted to search for newspaper or magazine articles. The third filter that is not selected is date. Depending on your subject area, it might be very important to search for information that is published in the last five to 10 years. Now, hit the search icon and look through your results. As I look through my search results, I see that I only have 34 articles. If you want more results from your search, think of potential synonyms that you could add to your search string. Instead of just searching for stadiums, I'll include sports arenas and sports venues connected by the Boolean search operator or, and I'll add the keyword local economy in addition to local community. Here, I've included brackets to tell the database that I want results with either the term stadium or sports venue or arena and either the term local community or local economy. Now, look through the titles of your search results and see which articles might support your research from this expanded search that has 155 results. For example, this article here, not in my backyard, sports stadia location and the property market, may be helpful to my research. I can see that it is peer reviewed and I can select the title to learn more about the article, especially through the abstract, which is a summary of the article. I like to read through the abstracts to see if it's worth spending time reading the entire article and taking notes for your final paper. To access the full text, you can use the Access Now or download links at the top. Another useful tool is this quotation mark. If I select this quotation mark symbol, it will give me the article citation in all major citation styles, such as APA, Chicago, and MLA. Don't forget to double check generated citations for accuracy. Academic Search Ultimate is just one of many databases that you can search for information. Other multidisciplinary databases include Academic OneFile and JSTOR. You can also use subject specific databases related to your topic and areas of interest. 
If you need help searching library databases, please email library at gordon.edu.